Hey there guys, I'm Kyle. And I'm Paul. We're the Quadros, and today we're going to be telling you a little bit about the newest things in the multi-rotor industry, such as the new Walker Itali H500, the TBS Gemini, and even a new aerial advertising company. This is the view of what's new. So up first we have the new Walker Itali H500. This hexacopter boasts up to 25 minute flight times, as well as it'll be the solution for both your FPV and aerial video needs. Some people might think the retail price of $1,900 is steep, but you will get the hexacopter itself, a 12 channel radio with a built-in FPV monitor, the iLook FPV camera, and a three axis gimbal, which also supports the GoPro, and you can't forget this also has retractable landing gear. It boasts common important features like return to home and intelligent orientation control, but it also has new features not often seen in ready to fly multi-rotors like object round flight feature, which will allow you to have the pilot make the hexacopter circle around a GPS waypoint. This could also hint towards future waypoint features. Up next is the TBS Gemini. It's the newest multi-rotor from Team Black Sheep, the people that brought to you the TBS Discovery. This hex features built-in FPV camera and up to a 10 minute flight time on a 3S or 4S LiPo. It can achieve speeds of around 50 miles an hour so that next time you race, you'll be sure to finish first. This insane speeds are possible because of its new forward tilt motors. Okay, DJI released the new S900 this week. It's the newest addition to their line of professional aerial video multi-rotors. It's a mix between the S800 and the S1000. It is 100 millimeters larger than the S800, but optimizes the same style of folding as the S1000, as well as it has folding props and retractable landing gear. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 18 pounds and a maximum flight time of 18 minutes. Up next, we're gonna tell you about the new Turnigy Bolt LiPos from Hobby King. These new LiPos boast 4.35 volts per cell, more than the 4.2 volts per cell of normal LiPos. This means that this new pack will give you an extra boost of power when you're doing flips with your new quad or flying your wing long range. These packs have a continuous 65C rating and can go up to a 135C burst. The only downside is you can't charge them with a normal LiPo charger, so you'll have to buy a new one. Last up we have DroneCast. It is a relatively new company that will be offering aerial advertising services in large cities in the US. Basically, what it sounds like it's going to be doing is tying banners to large multi-rotors like the S1000, then flying over populated areas to catch the eye of the public. This could be considered controversial or not, so let us know what you think about this new company in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and this has been The View of What's New.